morning everyone this is Levi diesel performance engineering in Savannah Missouri today I am working on a VP 30 pump these pumps were made by Bosch and they went on a lot of John Deere AG engines Perkins engines Cummins engines and uh, so what my customer was complaining about on this pump was he said they only got 40 horsepower out of this thing when it was on the dyno and it's rated at like 110 horsepower or something like that. But it wasn't throwing a code. They checked all the intake system. Couldn't find anything. And so they wanted the pump sent in to check. So before we ever put a pump on our test stand, we always look inside real quick just to make sure there's no contaminants or metal in there. And so I'll show you this pump here. This is a VP30 pump, and I went ahead and took my bolts off the top so you didn't have to watch me do that. But there are nine bolts that hold this PSG on. That's what this computer is called, is a PSG. And it's going to be connected here to your fuel solenoid. There's going to be a wire that goes down to your advanced solenoid. And inside, when you lift this up, First thing I do, like I said, when I check these, is I look inside these pumps. So, let me get a good angle here. There's a rib in there, and you don't want to cut that, so you got to be careful. That's connected to your IAT sensor down there. And so what, the first thing I look for on these is they're really bad about cam and rollers going out. And if they are, that sensor is slightly magnetic. It will catch the metal shavings. And so this pump... This was not my customer's pump. This is just a core I had so I could show you that process. But you can see contaminants right there in the fuel. Um, but this was my customer's pump. This is his PSG when I took it out. And so you can see all the metal in there. Um, that's supposed to look black. It's not supposed to be silver down in there at that ribbon. So you can see metal there as well where my thumb is so if you see something like that it will not throw a code but it is the pump so that's something real quick if you guys work on these tractors you know you can just look right in in there pop that up and then uh check that for metal or contaminants and if you see that it needs to go to a fuel shop because these have to be ran across on a uh stand a special Bosch test stand and they've got to be reprogrammed the PSGs do and you can only do that on the test stand so one of those things you can at least uh, you know save yourself some self-doubt you know and that way you know that you have accurately diagnosed it um, one of the other things you can do is before we ever run these across the stand these last two terminals here um, you're supposed to do a resistance check on those as well, and that will tell you if this PSG is shorting out somewhere internally. So if you check those, I think it's supposed to be greater than 2.5 kilo ohms. Um, so that's another test you can do, you know, on the tractor. So that's a VP30 for you. Sometime I might tear this down and make a video of that, but for now this was just kind of a diagnosing, and hopefully that helps you in your future. Um, and hopefully you don't have that problem, but, uh, there you go. Thanks.